Goodbye to the tornado warning there into Estill and Lee County. Does it mean that you could, um, you know, go outside and check out what's going on? We're still dealing with some um, very, very strong winds and that significant hail. So even if you're not under a tornado warning, which we have no more of here into South Central and Southeastern Kentucky, you still want to be um, away from all the windows. As you've seen, heard the reports earlier of windows that are just cracking and smashing because of that hail that is so strong. And of course, the 70, 80 mile an hour winds can bring down trees um, onto your home as well, which we have that report into the Richmond area as well. So again, we have, uh, if there's any good news, and no active tornado warnings here across our viewing area, but the storms continue to do just as much damage as a low-end tornado would. Now, that's, that's yeah. why we come on here um, wall-to-wall even well before um, that tornado warning was issued. And you can see what tornado watch that we had for Lexington back off to the south and southwest is now been replaced by a severe thunderstorm watch. Again, that covers all of these counties here in the yellow. This will run until 4 o'clock in the morning. Don't expect um, that to run its entire length, especially here in central Kentucky. We'll likely be able to cancel that early, but all this watch, the severe thunderstorm watch, does run until 4 a.m. I would say, um, just by judging off the radar trends and kind of our some of our future cast models, I would say by 3, 4 a.m., we should be completely clear of any severe weather that's in any portions of Kentucky. Yeah, and I would say the northern edge of this is going to be allowed to expire Very soon. Uh, probably within the next 30 minutes as well. I just want to quickly, uh, while we got some time here, show you past radar. Uh, we're getting a lot of damage reports out of Madison County. We just had that tornado warning for Estill County. But, uh, Jordan, if you want to track just to the south of Irvin there where we could potentially be seeing that rotation. Notice how we this is going oh, back yeah. in time now. Just to the north of Richmond there, this one is really we did get a little up. peak in velocity showing some rotation around 1045 there. Uh, you see that, Jordan? I do, yeah. One scan of the radar there. Right here. Between Red House and Richmond. Which is where a lot of those damage reports are yeah. coming from. So, so um, not yeah. saying it was a tornado. It could just been um, some of those straight line winds, but... Notice how it just takes one scan, one scan on the radar, yep. and then it's gone. Um, so, again, that's why even if you have just a severe thunderstorm warning, you need to treat it as a, uh, as a severe threat, especially if it's a destructive severe thunderstorm warning, you need to treat Absolutely. it as such. We were focused on the hail, really, because that was what we were uh, dealing with at a, at a broad scale, but there was a moment where we did get... Mm -hmm. uh, potentially some rotation there. So the National Weather Service will likely be looking into that for sure. Yeah, I, I would definitely um, agree with that as well. And it's more so of this damaging wind signature now, still some large hail in there, but this is really bowing out here from to the east of Urban, down through Vadyville, just to the west of Boonville, and back towards McKee there in Jackson there County There are still a well. couple kinks, though, in that. So the, near the Vadyville area, south and west of that, uh, we're still getting, you know, very weak. It looks weak, at least on radar. Um, possibly some rotation there just near the Bodieville area. So because this is a severe thunderstorm warning capable of producing 70 mile power wind gusts, treat it as uh, the dangerous threat that it is and get uh, to an interior room within your home. Definitely not near any windows and the outside walls. Even though we don't have a uh, tornado warning with this, there's the possibility uh, that we get some rotation there with that um, system. Uh, and there, as you, as Jordan is, is showing, meteorologist Jordan Smith showing on live track there where we can possibly see the rotation just to the south and west of Beattyville there in Lee County. So Boonville area, I would get into a safe location just because uh, you're getting the brunt of the system likely as it moves through the strongest of the winds where you're seeing this backward C shape uh, right in between that there is where you would likely see the strongest of the wind. So as that continues to move off, generally towards the southeast, uh, that puts Boonville right in the crosshairs of where we could potentially see the strongest part of the system. We did just get a flash flood warning issued for northern Madison County. Is that correct? We do. Uh, flash flood warning now for northern Madison County. What's the time on that until? It, it runs... Let's see. Uh, well... It's not showed up yet, Narcissa, but we have a 
uh, till two thirty. Flash flood uh, till two thirty a.m. Till two thirty a.m. Northern Madison County. Flash flood warning. Creeks and streams likely rising rapidly. We have another round of some heavy rainfall moving through right now. That's going to add to that threat. But the heaviest downpours and our severe weather threat still off towards the south and the east at the moment of that general area there in northern Madison County. But um, we also have that flash flood warning on top of that. So, Jordan, let's see. We got the flood. So flash flood warning, severe thunderstorm warning for Rock Castle, Laurel County, also Jackson County, and then the considerable severe thunderstorm warning that remains in place for Lee and Owsley counties, uh, especially the border right between the two is where we're seeing the strongest of the system. Latest scan of the radar, not quite showing that rotation potential, I would say, not as much. Still worth watching there. If if anything, we're we're still dealing with those very strong winds. So you still want to be in the most interior part of your house and away from windows. Just if anything, from that wind aspect that we're dealing with, because this is definitely, if anything, again, very strong damaging winds. Very likely with this, this considerable severe thunderstorm warning will run to the top of the hour. So it'll run through midnight, and really no signs of it weakening. So. Folks, if you're down here into Buckhorn, into Jackson there in Breathitt County, getting into portions of Hazard. So if you're even further downstream of this, heads up, give it another, you know, I would say hour or so down into farther southeastern Kentucky. And you will likely be seeing these thunderstorms impacting you as well. Again, these are 70 to 80 mile an hour winds and hail that could be over an inch in diameter. We got as high as three inches earlier. We're not at that um, as at the moment, but still maybe upwards of an inch in diameter of hail. And the power outages um, continues to fly. It looks like we have a new newly issued severe thunderstorm warning. It looks like something popped up there to the um, south of McKee. Um, it may have just flashed, but it definitely yes, updated or something. Um, severe thunderstorm warning with a tornado possible tag on the southern edge. All right, so this. let's go. Yes, yes. So this affects northeastern Rockcastle County. So the Conway area, the Red Hill area, the Sand Springs area, all these areas that I am um, naming off. You, Even though this is a severe thunderstorm warning, is it considerable? It's not severe okay. thunderstorm warning, but it has the tornado so possible tag. So it has tag. a tornado possible tag. So even though there's not a tornado warning at the moment, we've seen that back in the Richmond area when there wasn't even a tornado warning on that. We've seen that rotation kind of pop up. And the tornado warning was issued well after that rotation kind of tightened up there. So if you are into portions of northeastern Rock Castle, getting into portions of Jackson and Laurel County as well, you Radar need to... Radar doesn't really have a good look yeah. at this, so I wouldn't... I'm not really seeing anything rotation-wise at the moment. Not really sure. Um, again, we're not, we're not seeing anything here ourselves, um, but the National Weather Service in Jackson clearly sees something or they wouldn't have put that tornado possible tag on it. But still, regardless, this big complex of thunderstorms is producing over 70 mile an hour winds. So even if you know, you're know you not seeing any signs of rotation, which looks like it's more of that um, damaging wind signature, except maybe to the south of Boonville, there's a few little notches in there, maybe some very quick, weak rotation. Um, but nonetheless, I think we're mainly dealing with some damage in winds yeah. now. Uh, uh, maybe some hail. Let's take a look yeah, at the hail with, tracker. With some hail. Let's pull it the hail. Yeah, um, so still, yeah, what, quarter size hail. hail? Yep, we've got, let's see what size that would be. And if we can show that, yeah, an inch, right so at an inch. inch. So that's quarter, quarter size, size hail. hail. Just to the south, southwest there mm. of Beattyville, in between Beattyville and Boonville. Yeah, with which the radar on underneath that hail core, so southwest of Beattyville is where we could potentially, and we'll get an update hail core wise on that mm, in just, just a moment, but it's just got a new radar scan in. Yeah, so even even though it's not as large as it was earlier, still quarter size hail can do damage. That can crack windshields and um, do some damage as well. And this That's, same severe thunderstorm warning, they're continuing it, still has a tornado possible tag. Um, still has radar indicated uh, 70 mile per hour wind gust and one inch size hail, all radar indicated through okay. midnight. Midnight. So to the top of the hour here, we will um, continue this considerable 
um, severe thunderstorm warning. You may be wondering what we mean by considerable. Normally, on just an average severe weather day, we just get severe thunderstorm warnings for 57 mile an hour winds or some small hail. But when we're talking about considerable uh, severe thunderstorm warnings, that is inch plus diameter and hail and over 70 mile an hour winds. So it's yeah. just a, a tier up from your average severe thunderstorm warning. Yeah, and at a time, we had destructive which was 80 mile per hour wind gusts, and we at one time had three inch size hail uh, part of the same system. Obviously, it's not producing that large of hail right now, but still some larger hail possible between Bootyville, uh, Booneville, and Beattyville, excuse me, as we uh, continue to head off towards the south and the east again. Uh, your regular scheduled programming is not obviously on right now. We're going to stay with this likely through midnight. Um, shouldn't have to go too much further than that uh, because it's a little bit more stable of an environment off towards the south and the east, still likely to produce some strong storms. But the strongest of this, is we're likely uh, getting the back edge of really the peak time within this storm. Any updates there, Jordan? Um, just a lot, a lot of damage reports on social media coming yeah. out. Oh, geez. Madison the, County. Madison yeah. County. Um, yeah. I've seen a lot of pictures a of. Lot. Um, see if we can get credit to some of those, maybe share yeah. uh, one of those before midnight here. Um, so within the next 20 minutes. But I've seen a lot of photos of uh, hail going through windows. So we had some questions, you know, why we were breaking it in the middle of a movie earlier here on ABC well, we wanted to protect our friends in Madison County. We wanted to alert them that uh, their windows could be blown out from wind and hail. Um, and we had that. Uh, we've had numerous reports of that into Madison County from Richmond northward, uh, seeing those reports. And we even had some rotation that we just caught uh, going back on radar, briefly one scan showing some rotation um, into the, between the Red House area and Richmond area in north central Madison County where we also could potentially have seen uh, the effects of potentially, again, still very too early to say for sure, but it could have been produced by a tornado. So a lot, a lot to get through. We'll be breaking through all these damage reports as you head throughout the night and into the morning hours. So um, storm chaser Chris Hall, he's from Kentucky. He was actually in Richmond when that storm passed, and um, he has a video. He was at Bucky's, so the gas station there just off of the Dunn Cannon exit. And that's and south it, of Richmond. South, just south of Richmond. Looks Literally looks like a tropical storm or low-wind hurricane is moving through. I'm, um, if we could get this video on the air, it would be incredible because it looks like a yeah, Bucky's that's in Florida. I can, I can work Florida. on that. If you want to be showing this, Jordan, I can... Uh... I can try to get that in in our max system at the moment. So we're continuing with this, of course, considerable severe thunderstorm warning, which the counties of Estill, Jackson, Lee, and Owsley County for 70 mile an hour winds and hail that could be upwards of an inch in diameter. So Beattyville and Boonville, you need to be um, away from windows, absolutely, because you're dealing with the most significant part of that storm moving through and just looking further off down, downstream here it, into the Buckhorn area and to portions of Jackson County there in Breathitt County, or the city of Jackson in Breathitt County, not Jackson County, the city City of Jackson and Breathitt County. You will be um, the bullseye for this severe thunderstorm very soon. I would highly expect that they um, extend this. Whether or not it'll have that considerable tag is yet to be seen, but I don't think it will weaken below severe limits before it gets um, one county line over. So heads up there into Breathitt County, getting down into portions of Powell County and then down towards um, portions of Hyden there. As well, if you're if you're watching us here in Clay County in Manchester, you can probably look off to your north. You're probably seeing an incredible light show right now, dealing with um, a lot of lightning here from these storms. So, Manchester, you're you're not you're dry at the moment, but I would imagine the light show is pretty incredible. And um, Dylan, I know you're working on that video, but I'm just noticing something here that looks like we have some good amount of purple showing up in between Beattyville and Boonville. So, yeah. can we? Um, Pull up that hell tracker just when you get a moment yep. um, and see what we're dealing with there because that just that latest radar scan um, kind of pulsed up that hell threat. It did, and uh, I was trying to pull up a picture. There have been some reports of Roy Kidd 
um, stadium there in Madison County receiving damage. I was trying to get a look okay. at our Blue Gas Pace Care Skyview, not really uh, seeing any damage on that. But yeah, here's a look at the hail. It is yep. strengthening once again. Um, and we said that was possible. It would pulse down and pulse back up. So it's, it's yep. what we're seeing. Boonville area, definitely be prepared for that. Between Boonville and Lower Buffalo. So this was like Highway 11 here yep. into um, southern portions of Lee County there in Beattyville. And yeah, here we go. The hail size is back up to two inches. So that is hen egg size. So you think about hen egg. You know, that's, that's decent size hail that is falling once again. This is likely to uh, shatter additional windows, um, cause some roof damage when you get up. Um, really anything over an inch in diameter hail can cause some damage. But when you get up to two inches, which is what we're seeing now, then you're definitely going to be seeing damage. Uh, the, the insurance companies here in Kentucky are going to be busy bees here come tomorrow morning or almost this morning now, since we're almost at midnight, um, uh, getting all the information about all the wind and hail damages as well. Latest scan as well shows that it's continuing with that. Where you see the pink shaded areas here, just to the southwest of the lower Buffalo, just to the north west of Boonville, where you are seeing that pink shade of areas right here where my hand is going over. That is that hail that is two inches in diameter. So that will be moving off into Boonville very, very soon. So you have literally minutes. If you're watching us in Boonville and your car is not under shelter and you have the option to do that, you literally have minutes to get that to a carport or garage because anything over five minutes from now, you're going to want to be inside and away from windows as much as you can. So the hail with this, again, anywhere from an inch and three quarters to upwards of two inches. And on the path that it is taken, looks like it's going to ride down there Highway 11, which does cross through Boonville. So Again, Boonville, where we keep mentioning um, you, but that is because this significant hail is getting ready to move over your area. Not only hail, this is still considerable for the 70 mile an hour wind gusts as well. So power outages and um, damages with us as well. And if we, um, our director, Caleb, if you don't care to pull up the power outage map um, once again, and we can get an update on power, which we now have 94 thousand six hundred and three customers without power here that is statewide and you can see a large portion of jessamine county madison county and getting over to portions of jackson and essel county as well so exactly these exact these same exact areas that we have been showing you dealing with these storms the power outage map is lining up perfectly with that again just shy of 95,000 customers statewide. So that is definitely starting to see some power outages um, here in Fayette County as well and down at Rock Castle as well. Not too many, uh, just under 3,000 into Fayette County and just over 200 in Rock Castle. So again, just, just shy of 95,000 statewide. And I don't see any reason why that number would continue or would go down, and yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Especially with likely the large hail that we are dealing yeah. with. I'm trying to zoom in on Max 1 of Roy Kidd Stadium. If you just want to throw that up quickly, not stay on it too long. Uh, but there has been damage reports at this exact area. Fencing down, trees down. Can't, I tried to zoom in with the rain still falling. You can't really see that. The power is still on at least. But I've seen some photos see on the social lightning. media of... Uh, wind damage there in the vicinity exterior parts of Roy Kidd Stadium due to the storm that moved through earlier. So not seeing that at the moment, but um, an example of where we are potentially dealing with um, some damage. And we're seeing some lightning, obviously, there as well. Take this back over to Max 2. Thank you to uh, Caleb, who's been here with us. We've mentioned ourselves, but thank you to Caleb, who is uh, running the show Absolutely. and director right now, uh, getting things lined up for us, staying past uh, his normal work time. Uh, Lee County, uh, excuse me, Boonville there into Owsley County, you are likely seeing the largest mm. hail you've seen so far this evening. Upwards of an inch to an inch and a half, I would say, there with that. Um, also, updated at Estill County, communications 
has not received any damage reports at the moment um, here at the EOC there mm -hmm. in uh, Estill County. So that could be some, some new updates there out of Estill County. So no wind reports there. But we have an update on the power outage map across the region. To say we're getting close to uh, some new totals because central, south central Kentucky is also going up in terms of power outages there. So just shy of 97,000 customers now. So just shy of 100K here uh, statewide with, you can see, all the bright colors there is exactly where we have been tracking these thunderstorms. So it lines up perfectly with what we've been showing you guys for the better part of, what, going on two hours now. So um, it lines up perfectly almost 14, just over 13,000 in Jasmine County, just over 10,000 in Madison County. So that is where we've seen a lot of that wind damage. And even a lot of this power outages could be um, the lightning um, as well. We've seen um, a lot of flashes here on our Richmond cam that's still pulled up off screen that you can't see at the moment. Um, but some lightning and even hail is likely caused power outages once again. So now there's no longer a um, considerable severe thunderstorm warning for this cell there into south central Kentucky, but it's still something that we are watching. Um, I'd say we'll, we'll stay on through around midnight, and if we don't see anything strengthening, then we'll we can uh, get off the air here. But just want to keep you updated. Series Thunderstorm Watch remains in effect through 4 a.m. Uh, for all county shaded in the yellow. We're still tracking this severe thunderstorm morning uh, that is capable of producing winds upwards of 70 miles per hour. So that still is considerable. Um, so we're watching that for you as well. And this is moving off towards the southeast, lasting until midnight. Uh, the first severe thunderstorm morning. So this first box that you're seeing there to the west of Jackson, that one's through midnight. This one's through 1215, just east of that, uh, into Jackson itself, other areas of Breathitt County. But the lone cell, um, well, the cells between Beattyville down to Boonville, also now approaching the Manchester area. I'm trying to get some, some pictures. Uh, Chief Meteorologist T.G. Shuck is not with us, but he sent us a picture of some of the damage uh, there at Roy Kidd Stadium in Madison County from the storms that did move through again. At the time that that storm was moving through Madison County, we were really focused on the hail, but uh, strong winds definitely uh, with that and uh, extreme size hail, upwards of two to three inches in diameter. Um, Jordan, did, did you get any updates there? Well, I uh, watching a video on my phone, which just looks like baseballs falling out of the sky in Nicholasville from earlier. Um, some, somebody posted, so I was going to try to find that on the our desktop here so we could maybe get, get it downloaded. into the graphic, graphics system very quickly. So here's another look at Max HG Radar. We're stepping off the screen here trying to get you all some photos or videos to show you some of the damage that we've seen so far this evening. Um, I want to check on our Facebook page on any post there. Uh, photo of the yard looking like snow in Richmond from Stephanie Smith just of the hail from earlier this evening. You can see that on our Facebook page on our latest post, one of the comments on there. But so far, nothing outside of that. But we're still continuing to track the same system. Warning lasts through 12, 15, 60 mile per hour wind gusts and inch diameter hail. It's going to be traveling generally off towards uh, the east southeast so Hyden you're still probably 30 minutes before you start to see the stronger impacts for you Manchester you're getting ready within the next 10 to 15 minutes seeing the strongest wind and some heavy rain for you Breathitt County south and west of Jackson you're going to see that moving in shortly strongest part of the system at the moment just to the east of Boonville there into Owsley County uh, at the moment uh, things are moving off generally towards the east-southeast. That's the same cell uh, that dropped baseball-sized hail uh, earlier this evening and possibly even larger than that. We just haven't gotten any reports so far. Uh, but wind damage continues to, to be plentiful across the region. 
And again, we're going to stay on through midnight, as that's when we are expecting this to be downgraded just a tad to a typical severe thunderstorm warning, as opposed to a considerable severe thunderstorm warning. Bryansville area, trees down uh, across the road there in Bryansville and Garrett County. Uh, we've got a video that Jordan, uh, we're trying to get in our system here of, again, it looked like a hurricane. Winds rapidly um, blowing and also wind gusts that will continue to fall. We'll obviously be able to bookmark all these wind damage reports. If you're at home and can send in some yourself, we can share them later on on Good Morning Kentucky. Again, that starts on at 5 a.m. in the morning. I uh, would just around five hours from now. Uh, we'll have all that ready for you then. So if you want to tune back in in the morning hours, we'll obviously have some more photos and videos then. But for now, we're going to send this back to your regularly scheduled programming. Still tracking this Severe Thunderstorm Morning. You can track our social media pages, ABC36 on Facebook, Jordan Smith, meteorologist Jordan Smith on Facebook, or his Twitter page, or my Facebook page or Twitter page. We'll keep you updated through the rest of your night. So for the ABC36 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Stanley Day.